Well, last night into today, most of us turned back those clocks an hour, marking the end of yet another daylight savings time this year. While many rejoice about that extra hour of sleep, others dread the time change. If you fall in the second group, KQ2's Madeline McLean shares a few tips from a medical expert. November or March, for at least a week after daylight savings time, some of us feel a little out of whack. People do have a disruption in their circadian rhythm, so that's whether it is kids or whether it's adults. Nurse practitioner Anna Hunter says if daylight savings time knocks you off balance, you're not alone. You have decreased melatonin production, you have decreased serotonin production, so they have disrupted sleep, and there's actually a real uptick in car accidents and strokes and we have it we see a decrease in mental health because people are getting less time outside and they're feeling pretty sleepy and their routine is off fortunately she has a couple of tips to get us and our kids back on track especially with the winter time change we lose that afternoon light so they're not having as much light when they get home from school and sun exposure is a big deal so if we can get them outside as soon as they get home from school get more sun exposure they will have a more balanced sleep wake schedule and then in the morning when they're getting up and even though things are still dark and they're sleepy and they're not adjusting we turn lights on we make it bright um, and we try to get them back on that light dark routine in addition to increased activity and time in the sun you can add a vitamin d supplement in the winter which help to create all of those good endorphins as well as regulate your serotonin levels she also says to be patient with yourself and your kids as a mom i just say good luck it's a rough transition it's a rough transition as a parent and it's a rough transition for kids uh, so we want to give each other a lot of extra grace because we tend to tired usually equals grumpy um, whether it is us or our three or four or five year olds so um, just give each other a lot of grace. Reporting Madeline McLean KQ2 News. And one last tip Hunter recommends next year adjust your bedtime by about 15 minutes each night for four nights leading up to the big time change to ease yourself into it.